Welcome everyone. I'm Denise Ringler, Director of the Church and Center for the Visual Arts. Thanks so much for being with us for this important event that has become a wonderful annual tradition here at the Church and Center, the Appalachian Mountain Photography Competition's annual awards announcement. As you know, this event typically happens in the form of a spirited reception at the Church and Center. While a large public gathering this year isn't possible, we're delighted to be presenting this virtual event as a means of announcing and recognizing the award winners. All of us at the Turgeon Center and the Schaefer Center are exceedingly proud of our 18-year partnership with both the AMPC and the Banff Mountain Film Festival. We'd like to thank Rich Campbell and everyone associated with both of these remarkable programs for enhancing the cultural life of our university, community, and region. I'd also like to thank the Church and Center staff who worked to present the exhibition, including curatorial team members Craig Dillenbeck, Erin Durham, Gabrielle Knight, Lynn Reese Jones, Christy Chanowski, and Shauna Caldwell. It's now my pleasure to introduce our good friend Rich Campbell, who will serve as our host for this event. Hi, my name is Rich Campbell, and I am the competition director of the Appalachian Mountain Photography Competition, and I'd like to welcome you to the 18th annual AMPC. This competition has grown into one of the most prestigious photo competitions in the region with over 800 submissions this year. The incredible online presence is maintained flawlessly by Virtual Blue Ridge, and we could not do this competition without them. And the physical presence is curated and hosted beautifully by the Church and Center. The MPC is designed to capture the unique mountain character of the Southern Appalachians, a place we call home. Despite the continued pandemic, we chose to continue on with AMPC this year. Knowing how important the outdoors are, especially during this pandemic, part of our goal was to continue to inspire people to engage with the natural world, which has provided much needed solace and space. The AMPC is presented by outdoor programs with University Recreation, the Turchin Center for the Visual Arts, and virtualblueridge.com. The AMPC is sponsored exclusively by the Mast General Store. We really appreciate their contributions to this competition. And we receive support from Nikon, Bistro Roca, Peabody's, Foot Sloggers, Appalachian Voices, the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation, and Smoky Mountain Living. The jurors this year are Shauna Caldwell and Eric Heaston. They spend the better part of an entire day pouring through the digital images to get to the finalist images and then come back once the images are in the gallery to do the final judging. This year we had 51 finalist images and they are on display here at the Turchin Center. And now Shauna and Eric are going to talk just a little bit about their perspective of being a juror for the AMPC. Hi there, I'm Shauna Caldwell and in addition to serving as a juror for this year's Appalachian Mountain Photography Competition, I also work as Assistant Director of Arts Education and Outreach at the Turchin Center. As both an artist and an Appalachian Studies Scholar, I'm consistently trying to complicate and understand the dominant visual narrative that often precedes the idea of what Appalachia is. Appalachia is a huge, diverse place full of people with all kinds of lived experiences. So that's the perspective that I brought to my role as a juror this year. I was really looking for images that did the work of complicating that narrative and will hopefully open folks up to the idea that there are infinite multiplicities woven into the way we all experience our own version of Appalachia. Hey, my name's Eric Easton. I am one of the judges for the App Mountain Photo Competition. Let me just give you a little bit of perspective. Uh, usually I'm on the other side where I'm submitting photos really fun and also really challenging to go through thousands of images and just select a few. This has obviously been a challenging year. I think about words like disunity, disconnection, one day sort of feels like the next day. I would invite you to come and check out, um, even if it's just virtually, these amazing photos. Um, I think that this is a year where you will see celebration. I think you're gonna see resilience. Yes, some of our photos actually nod to the fact that there is a pandemic going on and I think it will provoke us to think a little bit more about why this community matters and why this competition brings out the best in us. I think it's an invitation to go and explore. I think both new people and new places, they're right in our backyard. 
really looking forward for you guys seeing the competition and seeing what you think. The proceeds from this competition support the competition itself, and along with the proceeds from the Banff Film Festival provide scholarships and support for students to take part in outdoor certifications and longer expeditions provided through our program. We greatly appreciate all of the support we have received from our sponsors and supporters, and also all of the photographers who chose to enter images into the AMPC this year. Hey y'all, I'm Ryan. I do community relations for Mass General Store. I'm here at the Turchin Center at Appalachian State. Uh, we sponsor the AMPC, the Appalachian Mountain Photo Contest competition, and uh, we've been sponsoring it since it began uh, 18 years ago. And we're really excited to be part of this event. This has been a challenging year for a lot of people, including Mass Store, and this is the one event um, that we could kind of push back into normalcy uh, for us to be a part of this. So one reason we're really excited about it is because Mass General Store, as you may well know, uh, has been in the high country in North Carolina for 1880, since 1883. And we have stores um, throughout Western North Carolina. So this is our home. This is our heritage, our culture. Uh, and what's great about this event, one reason we're so happy to be a part of it, is that these images capture what makes living in Western North Carolina and the Southern Appalachian region so wonderful. Uh, there's images of people hiking, there's images of people on uh, ski slopes, the top of Grandfather Mountain. Um, really cool ideas, personalities are presented here and uh, we couldn't be more happy uh, to be a part of it. So if you have a chance, check these awesome photos out. Thank these photographers, photographers for being involved and uh, get outside and um, We'll see you down at the Mass General Store. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jordan Calloway, Chief Development Officer for the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation. We are thrilled to once again be a supporter of the Appalachian Mountain Photography Competition. We think this year's theme was perfect and definitely fitting for the occasion. We found that millions were drawn to the outdoors last year, seeking solace in nature. We welcomed over 14 million visitors to the Blue Ridge Parkway alone. This made us the number one most visited national park unit in the United States. The Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation works to support this national park unit. Since 1997, we've provided over $16 million in support to preserve the history of the Blue Ridge Parkway and to provide welcoming spaces for guests like you. Congratulations to this year's photographers. We think you did a fantastic job capturing this year's theme. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jamie Goodman. I'm with Appalachian Voices, an environmental nonprofit organization based in Boone that co-sponsors the Our Ecological Footprint category. First of all, I would like to congratulate all finalists of the 18th annual Appalachian Mountain Photography Competition. The endurance and prestige of AMPC makes this an event we are very proud to be part of. The celebration of our natural and cultural Appalachian heritage in the photos each year is something special not only to my organization, but to me in particular. As a photographer myself, I have been a fan of this event since it began 18 years ago and was once a finalist like yourselves. 13 years ago, Appalachian Voices and I had the fortunate opportunity to collaborate with AMPC to create a new category, one highlighting the environmental issues of the region. I'm especially proud of all of the photographers who have participated in the Our Ecological Footprint category over the years. They have helped highlight the not so picturesque issues troubling our region so that we may fight harder to preserve the beautiful places, diverse wildlife, and vibrant culture shown in the competition's other categories. So again, I congratulate you all for your striking images that make up this year's exhibit. I eagerly await the chance to see them in person this spring and look forward to the day when we can celebrate this exemplary event in person once more. To learn more about the work of my organization, Appalachian Voices, please visit AppalachianVoices.org. Health, joy, and happy photo shooting to you all. Now let's get to the awards. There were four special jury awards awarded this year. They go to Evening Show by Skip Sickler, In Flight by Stephen McBride, A Successful Firing Self-Portrait by Sam Brown, and Comet Neowise versus Light Pollution by Skip Sickler. The People's Choice Award, made possible by a $350 gift certificate from Footslogger's Outfitters, 
is where you get to decide through your vote the winning image. Since voting ended just hours ago, we do not have an announcement of that award. Please check social media for updates on the winning image from this category. An exciting part of the presentation this evening is that we'll be able to hear from each of the award winners where they will be able to describe in more detail their images. We begin with the winner in the ecological footprint category, receiving a $500 prize package provided by the Mass General Store and Appalachian Voices, the Graphite Reactor by Jody Castanelli. Hi, my name is Jody Castellani. Thank you for the chance to come here today and talk to you about my image, the graphite reactor. I currently live with my family in Greenville, South Carolina, but I'm originally from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And many of you probably know that Oak Ridge was one of the key sites of the Manhattan Project in World War II. Now, during the war, Oak Ridge was a top secret town. It was hidden behind a fence and even state officials didn't know the city even existed. It was that closely guarded. The workers themselves didn't even know what they were working on. They would go into work each day, do their one small part of their job, and then leave without asking any questions. My father was one of those workers. So in retrospect, the atomic bomb has, of course, been controversial both in its usage but also in its environmental impact. What's indisputable, though, is that Oak Ridge and the bomb it developed changed the trajectory of American history forever. Now, this photograph was taken out at ORNL, at the, it's called the Graphite Reactor, and this site has recently been decommissioned. Most recently, they've been allowing a limited number of escorted tours to tour this facility, and I was lucky enough to be one of them. So it was during this tour that this image was taken along with a whole other series that day. I wanted to document as much as I could given how rare this opportunity was. But I love this one though, because of the close-up detail, the unexpected colors on this massive wall, which is usually shown in black and white from the historical photographs, and the meticulous numbering system. For historians, this image may represent an exceptional time in history, but for me, it's much more than that. It represents my rare chance to stand, not just in the path of history, but in the path of my father. I was able to walk in his footsteps, take the steps he took to work each day and to stand at this site where he stood once before so many years ago, making history that he didn't realize he was making. Thank you for the opportunity to share this photograph, which means so very much to me. Stay well. The winner in the adventure category, receiving a $250 gift certificate from Mass General Store, is The White Room by Lynn Willis. Hello, my name is Lynn Willis. I'm a professional photographer and graphic designer based out of Valley Cruces, North Carolina. I specialize in large panorama landscapes, portraits, commercial photography for local businesses, and also teach photography skills and post-processing techniques. I'm honored to be part of the 18th AMPC, and I feel fortunate to have had the most images selected over the years, being in 17 of the 18 photo comps. It's funny to look back to the beginning years of the competition when you could actually enter slide transparencies. I got a few photos in this year's adventure category. The one I've been asked to highlight here is titled The White Room, which refers to skiing on a powder day when the snow gets deeper every run. The photo was taken in Canaan Valley, West Virginia during the last day of a ski vacation with a couple of friends in January 2018. Sadly, we had to leave at noon for the long snowy drive back home. A couple of miles away is the White Grass Nordic Center where I got engaged 20 years ago on skis and went for 13 years in a row. It was us three telemark skiers and an unknown Mormon Tilly skier who's in the chair in front of us that were the only ones on the mountain that morning. I went back to my truck to get my camera for some action photos and captured this image from the chairlift heading up into the white room. Technically, looking back at my camera settings, I realized I was in action photography mode and not exactly prepared for this shot. My focal length was 60 millimeters with a shutter speed of 1 640th of a second. Aperture f7.1, ISO 400. If I had a shutter speed around 2 50th of a second or slower, and an aperture of f11 for greater depth of field, it would have depicted more snowflakes coming down. Compositionally, it's got a few things going for it, so let's take a look. The image has a sense of place and conveys solitude. It's got leading lines that show perspective. It's got color contrast against the white palette and bookends on the sides with the trees framing the photo. That's it for this image. I hope you enjoy all the photos represented in this year's AMPC. 
and maybe they will help inspire you to get out there and shoot and create images of your own. The winner in the culture category receiving a $250 gift certificate from the Mass General Store is Carport Ali by Alicia Green. Hey everybody, my name is Alicia Green. I'm a Wisconsin native, I'm a Navy veteran. I'm an app grad, snowboarder, mountain biker, mother of two, and I've been photographing for over 20 years. I feel really privileged to have two images in this year's Appalachian Mountain Photo Competition. I hope you get a chance to see them. I'm really excited to share them with the community um, and mostly because they feel new and exciting. Uh, and they're of a subject matter that isn't typically associated with Appalachian mountain culture. And these images are of women skateboarding in Zionville, North Carolina, which is on the Tennessee, North Carolina border. These photos came out of a weekly get together that was forced into existence by the pandemic. Um, it was late summer, early fall last year when I got an invitation from a friend of mine to come skate her, her homemade ramp. And when I say homemade, I don't mean rickety. I mean, this thing is an amazing feat and it is steady and it is big. Um, and she brought a small group of women together every week to learn how to skate or to take their skills to the next level if they've already been skating for a long time. She was creating an environment for people to, to get together, to connect, to, to skate in a way that you know, doesn't exist in the high country at this time. And it didn't take me long to realize something special was happening. So after a couple weeks, I left the skateboard, picked up the camera and went to her house with the intention of capturing what was happening. Carport Ollie, one of the images in the show this year came from that, came from one of those nights. It, it came from the community. It came from the momentum. It came from the connection. Um, and it felt really important for me to be there and to capture what these women were creating and what I got to be a part of as well. I hope that these images encourage you to try something new, whether it's skateboarding or not. Um, I hope it encourages you to realize the importance of opening your doors and bringing people together. I hope that it would encourage you to continue to do that or to do that more this year as we can um, when it's safe to do so. I hope you get a chance to see these images and all the others that are going to be in there. Thanks so much and be safe. The winner in the Flora Fauna category receiving a $250 gift certificate from the Mass General Store is Roan Mountain Fantasy by Chris Alamiri. Hi, I'm Chris Almarini, nature photographer from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and a finalist in this year's Appalachian Mountain photo competition here at the Turchin Center. I'd like to take a moment or two to talk about Roan Mountain Fantasy, one of my accepted entries here. It was captured last June at Roan Mountain at the border of North Carolina and Tennessee, a favorite location of mine, which makes this photo even more special is the conditions in which we were presented that day back in June. It is rainy, it is fog, and into the forest I like to search for subjects. This tree, magnificently covered in moss and set in a forest that's full of fog, really spoke to me, and I hope you found it enjoyable to look at as well. It's one of my favorite subjects from 2020, and I'm so happy to have it as a finalist here at Appalachian Mountain Photo Competition. The winner in the landscape category receiving a $250 gift certificate from the Mass General Store is In Darkness Comes Light by Terry Campbell. Hi, I'm Terry Campbell and I'm a professional photographer and I live in Bristol, Tennessee. While photography is my profession, it's also my passion. I enjoy photographing trees and waterfalls and pretty much any outdoor landscape. This is my image in Darkness Comes Light. This is one of two images that I have that was selected as finalist for the 18th annual Appalachian Mountain Photography Competition. I shot this back in July of 2020 in Southwest Virginia. A good friend of mine and I headed up to the mountain in hopes to capture a sunset and maybe if we were lucky, the comet. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I shoot this location, specifically this tree, pretty frequently. The weather up there changes pretty rapidly, and so does your plans. On this particular day, we arrived and soon realized that we weren't going to be shooting sunset at all. 
There were two storms off in the distance, and we were hoping that those storms would come up to the top of the mountain. I'd forgotten my lightning trigger, but I did have my cable release, so I was able to set up and wait for the storms to come in. I'd gotten several good strikes, several good keeper images of the tree in different compositions, but this one particular light lightning strike was prolific, and I was able to capture it. I hope that you enjoy this image. And every year in the Blue Ridge Parkway category, which is sponsored by the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation, we choose a theme. Um, the theme this year was nature's escape. And it was in part referencing the perspective that in so many ways, the outdoors were going to play such an important part of our lives during this pandemic. And I know that the Blue Ridge Parkway itself receives so much incredible support and use because of the interest in being outside. So really exciting category this year. Um, the winner in this category receiving a $250 cash prize from the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation and Nikon camera is Better Together by Gina Knox. Hi, my name is Gina Knox, photographer from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, currently living in Virginia, where I frequently travel to hike throughout Appalachia, capturing landscapes and life in the Blue Ridge. For me, the creative process really consists of traveling to a new place that I want to discover and learn more about, prepare with my equipment to capture moments that inspire me or I think are compelling, using the camera as a tool to be able to stamp a moment in time and share exactly what I'm seeing that has inspired me from my point of view. My photo entry for this year's competition, Better Together, was captured during a hike with the Women of Black Girls Hike RVA, which is a hiking group that was founded to encourage more women of color to get outdoors and recreate and hike in the Blue Ridge. I was happy to be able to uh, capture this moment of women who uh, were encouraging one another and staying positive during a time of unrest and unsurety in our country in 2020. And the Best in Show receiving a $1,000 grand prize is End Times by Mike Baker. Hello, my name is Mike Baker. I'm a photographer from York County, South Carolina, and I'm honored to have my work included in this year's exhibit. In a normal non-pandemic year, my photography work can be pretty varied. I could be photographing a football game on a Friday night, photographing a wedding on Saturday, or in the studio working on portraits. My photography interest on a personal nature can also vary, but I am drawn to long form documentary work. One of the themes that I have explored in long form is religious images. And this could be of a particular church, particular faith, particular religious person, or religious practice. An image that I have in this exhibit entitled The End Times was taken from some of that work. I was visiting a church congregation in West Virginia when by happenstance I drove past this church that was included in the photograph. I noted the marquee that said closed for a while. Now this was of course during part of the pandemic uh, in some of the earlier stages and this was a time when people were debating whether or not churches should be closed. This was an argument for some people for a safety issue, and for others, this was a matter of faith or loss of faith. For me, I just felt the image was significant, and I felt that I needed to photograph it. I'm glad that I did. On my next trip, the church was completely shuttered, and the words on the marquee were gone. I hope that this image resonates with you as a viewer as it did with me as an artist. And I'd like to say to all those who were involved in making this year's competition and exhibit possible, thank you. Hi, my name is Maggie Flanagan. I have a piece in the Appalachian Mountain Photography Contest called Known Specimen. You can also check out an expansion of this work. It is hosted right now at the Watauga County Arts Council's King Street Art Collective. This is a collaboration with the AMPC show and the exhibition is called our eyes are bigger than our stomachs and other gluttonous illusions. If you have a chance to go down and check it out, I hope to hear from you what you think. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching this evening. We'll be accepting submissions for the 19th annual AMPC soon. 
and can't wait to continue the tradition that has become the AMPC. Join us on Wednesday, March 24th for a really cool panel discussion on contemporary Appalachian photography. Um, we have more details that we will share with you later in this presentation. And uh, we really appreciate you taking the time this evening. Um, thank you. We hope you enjoyed the evening.